Hey, Earth people, what's happening? This is Forrest here, and I'm going to demonstrate a little interactive music test that I've developed here in FMOD, which I've been playing with FMOD now for the past week, teaching myself, and uh, it's pretty deep. Um, so yeah, for those who don't know, FMOD is, um, it's basically like middleware. It allows sound designers to create environments that um, programmers in video games can call in runtime makes it very easy for people like me um so i wrote a little song and it goes it's with the racing game in mind um and so what we have over here are the cues and the cue is something that the programmer would call in runtime um and a cue for and, and, you know at any time programmers you know <laughs> that's your job um anyhow so i've got like you know um the main part main variations which we'll get into later uh, main two, I've got a change, we got an intro, um, I also have some tricks, um, some guitar solos, a drum fill. Okay, so these are all the cues, and that's represented, let me close this real fast, that's represented over here in the scene by clicking include in scene right here. And by doing that, I've got a little scene, and then you associate a scene, these to a theme, each one of these is a theme now. If I click on this, it opens up my theme editor. Inside of each one of these themes are my musical, um, let me zoom in, you can see, are the musical elements, my loops, if you will. And they're actually set to loop by clicking here and add loop and it's looping under no condition. I could get really deep and assign as much as I want to this. Um, you s specify your BPMs right here, your time signature, and you can also, this is like a step sequencer. So this is going to set the trigger on beat one, two, three, four, one. So when it gets a cue, it's going to wait until it triggers on the one, which I have on beat right here. Um, also, under, say, here's my intro and here's my intro variations. Um, in this particular instance, if I click on this again, you can see here it says multiple samples. Click on that, and that opens up three different it's a playlist editor essentially and that opens up three different um let me move this over um variations of the theme and i have this set to random so when it receives a cue it's going to pick one of these three variations randomly to play on beat beat matched it's also sharing a timeline with the main intro um which is basically when it gets a cue and switches, instead of switching on beat one, it'll switch in the time frame. So maybe you're at beat three, four, and then you hit you get a cue. It's going to switch on the next beat, and it'll be in the same time frame. It's very good for um, harmonic structure and keeping a composition like together. Um, so a lot of these have those variations where it will choose randomly between um, different variations. To keep it kind of so you know, it's not so static and it keeps it more dynamic. Um, also, let me go down here. Um, you have, in this instance, I have a snare drum fill that I want to occur at the end of the phrase. Under the playback synchronization method, you have sequence or concurrent. Sequence would make it would say wait until the next. Um, at the end or whatever you specify. Concurrent means it'll play over top of whatever is playing, and I have that set to beat as well. So when you get to cue, it'll say, oh, cue that snare fill, and that snare fill will play at the end of the phrase, no matter where it gets to cue before. At, before the, It's uh, very much like Ableton Live, the way this is set up, and it's pretty deep and pretty groovy. Um, so then we're going to go to our... Um, let me do this real fast. We're going to go to our audio edition console. And basically this is um these buttons represent. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Let me see here. Do do do. Okay. So what these buttons basically represent are cue buttons. And this is what would happen during gameplay. Um I have, you know, I have all my parts laid out with my various, you know, actions or uh conditions associated to them. I have uh, my effects. Everything's t beat matched. 
So with that, I'm going to give you a little demonstration, and I hope you enjoy. And this is just my first attempt, so I'm looking forward to digging deeper into FMOD. And um, if you have any questions, get a hold of me at forestroush.com or forestroush at gmail.com. Peace. <laughs>